Good afternoon, I'm Mike Powell with the Columbus Division of Fire in Columbus, Ohio. We're here to talk about our 2022 Sutphin Heavy Rescue. The city of Columbus has 35 fire stations with approximately 16 ladder companies, 35 engine companies obviously, and almost 40 transport medics, and five heavy rescues we run in the city. We chose Sutphin Rescues. This is our second round of this type. We've put together a pretty good package here that suits us very well. Our city is still growing, so we do run five heavy rescues because of the amount of square mileage we cover. Looking at our cab, this is a Sutphin Monarch cab. It's a dedicated heavy rescue, so we do not have any water or any hose on it. So it's completely dedicated for heavy rescue. We're taking delivery of five here in the next month or so. It has a PTO on it, which supplies power to our hydraulic tools. We still have four reels for hydraulic tools on here, and we also use battery power tools for a backup system. So the cab itself, a lot of the comforts around the driver, siren, air horn lanyards, to make it easier for the driver to navigate and turn on the lights, the scene lights and everything. We're gonna look at the back of the crew cab here. We'll go up in here and we'll look in the walkthrough part. In this walkthrough here, our previous trucks, it was probably about two and a half, three feet shorter. So we extended this a little bit more here. We carry our water gear back here, our dry suits, our wet suits, our PFDs, different things for water rescue. And this back part here will likely be where we store our rope gear and then other miscellaneous shelves. And we have a nice storage area here under the bench. This is just the bench to get dressed back here. This is not a riding position. We've added this EMS cabinet here or whatever the companies want to put on it. We took away that. We normally don't ride six people, so we made this maybe an EMS cabinet. And then these cabinets up here, we have a tremendous amount of storage in here, so that works out really well for us. So that's a look here at the inside of the cab. Here on the back of the cab, we have a compartment for miscellaneous items. We're trying to set these five rescues up as close as possible so when people are moved from rescue to rescue, they know in this compartment they're going to find the same thing that we have in the other four. One of the best things, I think, and one of the best features of this truck is we have hydraulic tools off of both sides on the street side and the curb side. We have two 100 foot reels that are powered by an electric hydraulic pump that runs off the generator. On our slide out boards, we'll carry four rams on this side and on the slide out board over here, we'll have our Kodiak strut system and we do run Genesis hydraulic tools. The setup we use this way allows us to, if we're on the freeway, to turn the truck to the left and work off the right side that's protected. Same thing if we turn to the right on the freeway, we can work off the left side and we're protected by the truck. But if we do need more hydraulic tools, we have the other two reels on the other side to use or the cordless tools that we have. So on this tray here, we would have our cutters and spreaders with a backup pump. We keep a backup gas pump on there, hydraulic, in case this pump would not work or the PTO wouldn't shift, we could pull the leads off of that hydraulic pump, put them into the gas pump and still feed our reels that way. Compartment number two on the street side, we have a fixed mounted toolbox. In the past, we have had a regular shop toolbox that we could move in and out, but we went with the fixed toolbox. It's, it's deeper 
and it allows us to be able to access tools a little bit more easier than the portable toolbox. It's got a slide out board here that we're going to put our chains and our couple high lift jacks. It has a 200 foot cord reel on it. So in here we'll keep some of our battery powered batteries and chargers like that. Moving on back here on this side we have an air bottle holder. Some companies prefer to keep a water can in there in the summer months so whatever they want to put in there. Moving back to the compartment above the wheel, it is traverse on the back half so we can carry our tripod, hot stick wire cutter, eight foot four by fours, and our Stokes basket. And then over here we have area for our cribbing, for our six by sixes and our four by fours. And we got this angled floor here to keep the cribbing slanted towards the back wall. Moving back here to street side number four, we have this roll, roll down, tilt down tray that we keep our chainsaws on. We have a battery powered chainsaw and some of the companies carry a small other chainsaw and two other large ones. These trays suit us very well. On this tray we carry three circular saws and our extra gas cans. So it's this tray sliding out makes it real versatile. They can carry a lot of weight. And like I said, we've had five of these trucks in 2013 that we're replacing right now. And they have held up extremely well. Moving to the rear. Basically our back here is our air compartment where we store our extra air bottles slots for all our different size airbags and the two shelves we have one board dedicated to our air chisel and then we have another board dedicated to our airbag control kit for our airbags as you look down here we have a receiver on the rear and on the front that we can run our winch off of and the plug is is back here in the compartment to power the winch On top we have two coffin compartments. We have an access ladder here. Those are just basically storage for stuff that we don't use very often that might be too bulky to put down low. Coming to the curbside number number four, we have other struts we carry back here, grizzly struts that are a little heavier duty. This slide out tray here takes care of our plasma cutter, our slice pack, and we have a propane torch. So that's basically our torch compartment back here. On this side we have two bottle holders. This side here just mirrors the other side. This one here is going to house most of our hand tools, spare chains, different things like that. Uh, basically it's going to be just a, a nice size compartment here for storage. We do have a receiver on the side that we could use as a rope tie off or we could put our winch into this receiver on the side. But typically if we're going to pull something hard with our winch the front and the rear are rated for more than the side. So if we're going to pull something hard, we're pulling from the front or back. But if we have to grab something with the winch from the side that doesn't need the full power, we could use the side. But also it's good for, ro for a rope tie-off. One thing we did add, tie-offs on the top of the roof there. We have two on each side with this 3,500 pound insert that goes in there. So we can set up a bipod if we want to and have some high anchors. This compartment, like I said, just mirrors street side number one. Our division gave us the go ahead in 2012 to build these, this style of truck and it has suited us very well in the last you know, 10 years. I worked on this truck uh, for about 18 years now and I worked on the other one for 10 years. And 
I'm pretty lucky to be on the committee and come back to build the second batch. So we've improved some things, but this compartment right here does, suits us very well for what we do. Most of our auto extrications are reachable with the reels, but we do have the capability of going to cordless tools if we need to. In this little compartment over here, we're gonna set each of our trucks up for RIT operation or rapid intervention team stuff. We have a small airbag kit we carry. We'll put that in there and a couple other things specific to us that we use for RIT operations. We come around to the front. We have a 18 inch extended bumper with a lid on it here that protects our winch. Our winch is portable so we can use it on all four sides and it's stowed in here in the deep part here and the tr trays on either side will house our chains and whatnot. This is our receiver and then the connection for the winch down here. As with most heavy rescues, there is tow hooks underneath that we could use for anchor points if we need to wrap. Same in the rear. And then one thing that Columbus Fire puts on all their trucks is uh, these grab handles here for climbing up on the bumper here to wash the windshield or do anything, change the windshield wiper. So those are pretty handy too. So that's a look at our 2022 Sutton Heavy Rescues. Thanks.